Hey guys, um, I want to do a video update on sort of what I'm thinking about right now um, and sort of where my mind is going with this new work planner thing that I'm planning to start using. So um, let's start with um, in my Winchester right now, um, which has not really changed. Um, I'm continuing to keep a week on two pages with a note page in between that I'm sort of assigning things to each individual day. Um, it's working quite well. Um, I do use a blank sheet sometimes or one of these day planner pages to sort of help me get through really sort of jammed days that I've just got so much stuff going on that I really need some additional structure, but for the most part this works. Um, and I was emailing back and forth with David and Lewis in the UK today about this. Um, I think in a lot of ways what really works brilliantly on this is it's an excellent appointment book and sort of task list, sort of keep you moving through your tasks every day. Um, I found it to be a little bit lacking in terms of planning. Um, my work, my professional life tends to be pretty reactive anyway. Um, and I really have to make very conscious efforts to sort of keep myself move um, to really to plan, to set goals, to really keep myself working towards goals. It's very easy to sort of lose track of them. Um, and this, as functional and simple as it is, I love. I have one week on two pages diary for the whole year stuck in here. Um, I basically write things one time. And that's it. It's like you know, when using um, two pages per day or um, or even day per page, um, you tend to need to keep, because you can't fit a whole year's worth of it in your book, you tend to need to copy everything onto a month planner or a week planner or something. Um, and invariably, I screw that up and write something on one Di one diary or and not on the other one or something so um, I really like this is very simple um, I said to I wrote to uh, David and Lewis today it's very easy um, to get it sorted back out when it gets messy um, and it just works nicely so all of my um, information and notes are still indexed here um, I did just today I um I made sort of it's it's kind of um it's a form for of a Gantt chart but I didn't use it like a Gantt chart really um it's not one project these are all sort of small projects that I want to try to sort out before I go on vacation in late July um, it's all work stuff and so I just wrote out a list and then I sort of plotted out when I think those things need to be done or when I think I have time to do them. Um, how long I sort of represent how long I think they're going to take um, and something I can keep adding to this as stuff comes up um, I've been yeah it, it, I don't know anyway sorry I'm a little inarticulate tonight um, I just did a clean up today usually um, the clear today marker um, is to get you to today's diary and the frosted one gets you to the first clean notes page. Um, today I had I went through this. I had about 25 pages of full of notes, and I cleared all that out. I put stuff I need to keep, got indexed. Stuff that I did not need to keep got chucked, and so we're all nice and clean now. Um, I usually have some lined paper in here, but right now I just have a few sheets of well, two. I need to replenish clearly of blank. Um, but anyway, this has been working extremely well. Um, as I said, it, it you know it really does. Um, it works like a very detailed um, tickler file for me. Um, everything that I need to do throughout the year, I just jot it down in here, either on the week it needs to get done or the day it needs to get done, or I put a little note at the beginning of the month as to work on it that month or whatever. Um, it's really really functional. Um, I would like to have a little bit more structure for work purposes and as I mentioned in my other video I think it would be really appropriate for me to 
keep a separate work planner. Um, I will admit I am not sure if that's going to work, but I'm going to try it. I just, I have to see how it does. Um, I think that, like I mentioned before, I love the fact I only have to write things once in here and it's done. Um, the minute that I add, add a second planner, um, I'm going to need to do a lot of things, or a lot of things are going to need to get written into both of them. So, um, one thing that has always been difficult for me is my work schedule is seriously all over the place. I worked 8.45 to 4.45 on Tuesday. I worked 11 to 7 on Wednesday and Thursday. I'm working 9.15 to 5.15 tomorrow. Um, and we're closed on Saturday, but I usually work 8.45 to 5.15. Um, you can even see that my schedule changed. So it went from 7.45 to 3.45 to 11 to 7 to 9 to 5. Um, so I think that because my work doesn't sort of neatly compartmentalize into like 9 to 5 every day, um, it's almost more essential. It's like, you know, when I get up in the morning, I open my planner and I see, oh, okay, I need to be at work at this time and I have a meeting at this time and I need to do these things. And I can sort of start to visualize how I can get that stuff done. So anyway, but I think that it is time for me to try keeping a work planner. So with that in mind, um, I've shown this to you before. This is my, well, it doesn't look very green in this light, but this is my green planner. You can, if I put them side by side, you can see it's a good bit bigger than the Winchester. Um, it's not enormous or anything, but it is bigger. Um, if we put them, they're about the same height, but yeah, this is quite a lot thicker. It has bigger rings and it's got a wider cover on it. Um, one thing that will immediately be nice about this is having two generous size pen loops. Um, the bigger rings, the wider pages are nice to use. Um, I remember when I was using, and I just revisited these recently, when I was using this two page per day from Franklin Covey, this worked really, really well, especially for my work days. Um, it just the it is the right amount of structure to really help me kind of get focused. And I think the Franklin Covey system is very um, friendly to sort of uh, setting goals and a vision and then sort of helping you work through the details to make it happen. Um, and so this is, that's why I ended up choosing this particular system for a work planner. Um, and I also ordered the, um, storage binder for this that I can keep at work. So my future pages and can um, live in here, and as I take the used pages out of here, I can transfer them in here, and so at the end of the year, I'll have a nice archive of the year. So, um, this binder came without um, these page lifters with, with rings this big, you really need them, because otherwise the pages start to wrap around the rings and get stuck between the covers and the rings, so, um, and I also, had had some ideas about trying a, a sort of crafty project with a planner, so I bought this one. Um, another green. This is a zip binder. Um, I'm sorry, I can't. The camera's too close to sort of show you. It, it's a little... It has the same size rings and it's the same compact page size, but you can see it's a little bit taller and a little bit wider. Um, but this came with some inserts, but this had the uh, page lifters in it, and I bought this for $2 on eBay. So um, it's a little bit worn, but I, it's actually nicer than I thought it would be. It's vinyl, um, and actually feels quite decent. Um, the zipper works fine, it's lightweight. Um, so I'm, I might actually hold on to this and see if I ever need to use it for anything. It's pretty nice. Um, I had a very similar binder in this kind of leather that um, I sold to Aaron, and that one had one and a half inch rings, um, but basically the same pocket layout and everything. And uh, 
it was a nice planner to use. This one, and it doesn't have the zip pocket on the outside. Um, it's much lighter, and I kind of like the green, but it, you know, it, it, these things really hold up nicely. Um, I'm impressed. Anyway, um, all this stuff is Franklin Quest branded. Um, you can see that there, um, which is the what the company was called until it bought the Covey Consulting Company. Um, which happened in the late 90s, so I'm assuming that these binders both are from the mid to late 90s, or perhaps even earlier. Um, so, anyway, I'm going to give this a whirl, so basically leave everything. Um, I think that the planner itself will probably travel back and forth to work in my bag with me, but the, the storage binder will stay at work. Um, and etc. So I can sort of really see this as a work planner. But I really find um, sort of having these master task lists for the month, um, having the index that you fill out when the month is finished to sort of note out what dates that important things happen throughout the month, which makes it much easier to backtrack and find information. Um, one thing that has really failed in the system, the Filofax systems that I've been using up to now, is that since it's, it's a personal planner that I also use for work, um, it ends up being used probably 80% for work, but it's my planner and I keep all the archive of it at home. So if somebody asked me about something that happened three, six, nine months ago, chances are I have it, but chances are it's at home. And so I have to make a note in the planner to, when I get home to go and look for whatever. Um, I think that this way, if basically all the work function is in here um, and it, the archive is at work at my desk, I can copy, I'll be able to retrieve information more easily. Um, I ordered a, um, this is all, I cut up a Claire Fontaine notebook. Um, this is an entire small one that I chopped um, chopped the pages slightly down to be the right width and then hole punched them. Um, I did order a starter pack, which I've never bought before, but the starter pack included these weekly compass cards. So um, you have a line for roll and then big rocks. Now I had to read through the system a little bit to figure this out. So the roll is kind of... Um, I don't know, in the manner like, you know, my role might be supervisor. And then the big rocks would be like the most important things that you want to kind of tasks that you want to focus on for the week related to that role to sort of help yourself advance in that role. So rather than being sort of a weekly to-do list, it's sort of a weekly keeping you focused on your goals. Um, and so these are perforated so you can take them out and they go inside this pouch page finder thing. Um, annoyingly, I really like the Filofax design that has um, two ends so you can, you can flip to the current page from the top or the bottom of the planner. I tend to have it sitting on the table like so, so it's nice to be able to do it from the bottom. This um, doesn't protrude from the bottom at all, it only gets from the top, so you'll always have to turn from the top. Um, I had a day timer um, page finder in a planner for a while that was the same way, and I really didn't like not being able to access it from both sides, so we'll see. I might need to put something on the bottom of this so I can get to it. Um, but anyway, and so as, as you go through day to day, you've got this is today's plan, and you've also got that reminder of, like, this week I wanted to focus on these major parts of my sort of life plan, and primarily focusing on these particular tasks related. Um, on the back side of the weekly compass card, it has um, Plan weekly and plan daily. So plan weekly says review roles, choose big rocks, and schedule for the week. Um, plan daily is check today's appointments, make a realistic list, and then prioritize. Um, 
I love that they give you this prioritization column here in addition to a status. So um, you can check if it's completed, arrow if it's forwarded, X if it's deleted, this go if it's delegated. I can't write that. My handwriting's too big to put G, circle, check. Um, so I just, if it's delegated, I usually just put a D. Um, and then a dot if it's in progress. And the dot, I actually, a lot of things end up being in progress. Um, I think I had some, yeah, there's two from yesterday. So that, um, that works quite good. The daily tracker um, can be used for whatever you want. Um, I've tracked, last time I was using these pages, I was tracking my uh, bedtime and wake time here. Um, it also suggests that you can track expenses, email, voicemail, or other information. Um, I usually jot if, you know, if I'm taking a phone, if, you know, I sit down at my desk and I've got a phone, a voice message on the phone, I'll write it on the notes page. Um, as I'm going through the day, things that are not really a task, something I need to remember to deal with, something that comes up, um, you know, an emergency that crops up at work that I, I just jotted on here. So at the end of the month, I can track, I can put it in the index that like that is the day that um, the smoke and the fire alarm went off or whatever. So if I need to be able to track that, that event, it's easy for me to find it. Um, I definitely find that I miss um, this works really nicely, but I don't have that space for the day to write notes. What I've been doing instead, I flip here, I put the date, and I write the note, but then it ends up getting separated from the planner pages forever, and I'd rather have it stuck with them forever. Um, it's like today I ended up throwing about 12 pages of notes away because there wasn't anything actionable on them and there wasn't anything I needed to really keep track of. But um, if they were part of this, I would have just kept them in archive. But they're just, they end up with like over several notes from several different points in time. And um, I don't necessarily, I, I can't match them up to date. So it's just, it's not convenient to archive them. Um, anyway. So I did buy the starter pack, it came with tabs, um, there's a planner guide, I've been going through this guys, it is like homework, um, I did read it, um, You, it walks you through creating a mission and values, so you've got, it is basically homework, but you fill these things out, um, you have a personal mission statement, you have, um, yeah, all these different things to sort of help you really nail down what's most important to you, what your goals are, what your values are, sort of clarifying what your roles are, what, how you can sort of state what, you know, what is the, what the role is, how it fits into your values, and blah, 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 blah. Um, good stuff to do. So I'm going to work on these um, goal planning pages. Um, then it has a finances tab. Um, I have them, oh, they're in here. I pulled these out because they are, are very much personal. Um, there's a monthly expense tracker, which isn't really relevant. I do need to maintain track a budget at work, but this isn't a good format for it. Um, there's a monthly budget worksheet. There's a yearly income and expense tracker. Um, all of this stuff would be very handy in a personal planner. Um, automobile information and servicing. Um, and an annual summary of business expenses. So this I could probably use in there. Um, the rest of it isn't really relevant to my work, um, but I can definitely see for personal use it would be great. What I will put in here, um, I do track a budget. I'm going to make my own budget worksheet that I can pop in here um, so I can sort of, when I'm in a meeting and someone asks, well, how much money do we have left in budget, blah, 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 I can flip here and be like, yeah, we've got this much money left, um, or we've spent this much money to date. So I'm going to work on that. That's definitely something frequently throughout the year I'm asked to have that information. I never have it with me, so I think it'll be really convenient. Um, I can track it on a spreadsheet, but then write it in here so I've got it with me whenever anybody asks. Um, I usually, and it's a, it's a payroll 
budget. So at the end of each pay period, I'll just add the new inform, update the information. Um, as personal information, which is extremely comprehensive, uh, as a page for birthdays, medical records, websites, um, then it has some toll-free numbers, weight and measures, uh, time zones. Um, then I made, I, ta I labeled some of my own. So here's one for projects. So I figure um, active projects can go in here. Um, students, I supervise about 20, um, 15 to 25 um, student employees at the library where I work. So I'll put all of their, um, usually I have a roster, um, lists of stuff I want to go over with them, ideas for stuff that I can work on with them, can all go in here. Um, Jessica is my boss, I just have a Jess tab that I can put um, agendas for meetings with her, um, stuff I'm waiting on, um, ideas that I have that I want to bring up with her, blah blah blah, can all go in here. Um, schedules, so I, I have a lot of schedules. Um, if I go to my S tab, I have a departmental schedule. Um, I have a master schedule for the year, well for two years actually, for the library. Um, my s class schedule for my school. Um, I usually have a student schedule in here, but right now we're kind of in between, so it's not there. But that'll go there. Um, I haven't labeled this one the number five tab yet, but I'm sure that I'll have a need for it. And then there's um, an address phone divider with several pages behind it, so I can fill in all. I'm not sure if I, I, I can fill in work contacts in here, or I might just type them up on the computer and punch them and put them back here. I'm not sure what I'll prefer. Um, I tend to handwrite, but it might be easier. I have all that, all, I think they send us out a sheet of all the contacts on a spreadsheet, um, so I could conceivably just reformat that into this size page and that will save me a lot of writing time. So anyway, um, that's sort of how this is shaping up. Um, I am kind of intrigued by this vinyl one and I'm sort of wondering if um, this one might be good um, for if I have to travel or something. I'm not sure. I'm going to, but I think I'm going to keep it intact. I'm probably going to bring it to work. Um, it could even be, um, you know, even if this is the official archive, that this could be some kind of an intermediary step. So, like, the previous months can go in here. Um, so if I need to refer to them in a meeting or something, I can bring it with me. I don't know. We'll see. Um, it might end up just coming back home, and then I can play with it as I had intended, or I was going to, um, uh, apply wallpaper or fabric or something to the outside cover of this, but it was a little bit nicer than I thought it was, so I might just keep it plain. Anyway, um, that's my long rambly video for the evening. I've gone on for 24 minutes, so um, we'll end it there. Um, let me know if you have any questions, suggestions, blah, blah, blah. Um, I appreciate you guys for uh, watching these and giving me feedback, um, and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, and take care. Bye-bye.